Hey team, I'm Eric from Langchain, and today we're going to be building a Langchain agent on top of Google's uh, Gemini Pro model. Um, as some of you may have seen, today they launched their uh, Gemini Ultra 1.0 offering, or Gemini Advanced offering, um, in kind of a chatbot, ChatGPT style interface. Um, Gemini Ultra still isn't publicly available over API yet, um, but kind of a fun time to celebrate uh, the ability to use different kinds of models um, for agents. Um, so to start, let's walk through uh, some of the things we're going to be using today. Uh, first, we'll be using Langchain. Um, Langchain, as it says on the right, is a, a framework for building LLM-powered applications. Um, I work at Langchain, and so we're going to be using Langchain today. Um, the model that we're going to be using is Gemini. Um, the uh, we're going to be using Gemini Pro, not the Ultra 1.0 model that was launched today, and we're going to be using it through the Langchain connector to Google AI. Um, you can also use the Google Vertex connectors if you'd like um, to use the more like Google Cloud-centric Vertex APIs, um, but getting started with the Google Generative AI um, model here um, is, is a little bit more straightforward if you're just getting started. Um, we're also going to be... Uh, kind of looking at some of our traces in Langsmith, which is our um, kind of observability and debugging application at Langchain. Um, we are going to be able to, this is actually a run of what we're, the template that we're going to be building today, um, and we're going to do some modifications later that swaps out to Vili for um, Google programmable search, so we can kind of compare the two uh, search outputs there. Um, and Langsmith makes it really easy to kind of see what's happening in each step um, of our chain. Um, we're also going to be using Langserve, um, which is our uh, kind of REST API hosting product. Um, to start, we're going to be using Tavili Search. Uh, the template that we're going to start with, Gemini Functions Agent, um, uses Tavili Search as the default tool. Um, and we're also going to be adding uh, in a Google search one, just to kind of stay on brand with all the, all the Google stuff going on with Gemini. Um, and with that, let's dive in. Um, so to start, we're going to want to find uh, the template that we actually want to use. And so going to templates.langchain.com is the easiest way to do that. Um, this is a listing of all the templates that we offer, um, and you can even like them if uh, there's particular ones that you have enjoyed using. Um, so because we're going to want one that uses Gemini, um, we're going to search for Gemini. We have one that does drag, but today we're going to be starting from the brand new uh, Gemini functions agent, which was added just yesterday. Um, and this uh, readme is going to kind of walk through some of the um, stuff required to, to use this one. So we'll start from there. Um, and from there, the only string we're going to need is actually this Gemini functions agent string here. Um, and then we can go over to our code editor. Um, so I'm just starting from a blank folder called customizing Gemini agent. Um, and the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to install the Langchain CLI. Um, command line interface in order to be able to very quickly bootstrap our application. Um, and to do that, we're going to run langchain app new. Um, and we can actually look at this readme. Um, well, first we can actually just run langchain app new dot, which will create a blank, um, blank uh, project for us. And the package that we want to add is Gemini Functions Agent. Um, and we'll only add that one package. Um, we will actually, let's skip installing to our environment with pip. Um, I'll use poetry instead, um, which will kind of manage our dependencies for us. Um, and then the one, well, we can see that it bootstrapped kind of this app for us where we have a server file. This is where we're going to be editing some things in a moment. Um, and then we also have this packages folder, which installs our Gemini functions agent, uh, agent, which this is kind of the default implementation, which we're going to be editing a little bit at the end of today. Um, so the first step as kind of pointed out to us by that output down here is that we need to add the following, uh, route to our application. So we're going to be adding that to our server.py file. And instead of this, uh, not implemented line, we're going to um, install the kind of Gemini functions agent chain here. Um, and then la let's uh, install um, all of our dependencies. So one other thing that the 
Cly has done is it has um, created a Pi project Toml, um, which is the kind of poetry way of declaring all our dependencies as opposed to pips requirements.txt. Um, pip can actually read these as well, um, but poetry kind of manages it all together in kind of a nice way. Um, and we're going to have this path dependency to our Gemini functions agent, but if we just run poetry install here, it'll be able to read all of that. Um, it's telling me that I have an invalid distribution um, in one of the site packages in here. I think this is actually from an old, um, old virtual environment I created from an old demo, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Um, and here it says that we have our project and our lock file, so we should be good to go there. Um, and then in order to run it, uh, we can use our poetry run langchain serve command. Um, the reason it's better to prefix of the poetry run is it because it makes sure that it's using the virtual environment associated with uh, this folder, um, which um, can kind of trip you up if you just run langchain serve. Um, so now that that's running, uh, we can go back to our uh, web browser. We can see that we have this Gemini functions agent playground. Uh, so let's see if we can actually uh, get that to work. So that'll be at localhost 8000, and we'll want just that path. Um, and so we have kind of our default output here. And then let's ask what is the... Um, What's a good thing we can ask a search engine? What is the best um, place to, or what are some events happening in San Francisco uh, in 2024? Um, and so our agent is working now, um, and we can actually go back to Langsmith and see it um, kind of working through. Um, that was kind of an old one, but we have our Gemini functions agent here with what are some events happening in San Francisco in 2024. Um, it looks like the first agent call wanted to use the Tavili search results JSON um, with two L's here. So Gemini produced um, kind of an invalid function name here, which is why I think down here um, our Langchain agent is saying that uh, we can't the output is that that's an invalid tool, so try one of the ones uh, in this list. Um, then the second one does properly gets to really search results JSON, which is good, such that we can actually go and run that. And we can see that our output has some um, documents related to um, exhibitions and those kinds of things. Um, and then our final uh, result about what are some events? What are some events happening? Um, produced some output, which we can hopefully see in our playground. Which is sure. Here are some events, um, and it kind of results in a summary of some of the outputs that Tavili gave us. Howdy! I am back a few hours later to wrap up this video, um, and yeah. So we we just wrapped up using the default template with Tavili search, and now we're going to use our um, <coughs> Google search um, instead of Tavili search as our tool. Um, so if we go back to our text editor, um, we can see that the tools are configured up here, um, and actually the template as updated today is going to look something a little more like this. Um, where it's just going to pass in the tools themselves. You actually don't need to do any custom formatting on those functions. Um, and so our goal here is actually going to just be to switch our Tavili tool for a Google search tool here um, and see if that makes uh, some sort of difference. So the first step is we're going to have to install the Google API Python client um, in order to get uh, this Google search API wrapper working. Um, we can actually just try making this work out of the box here um, and see what uh, it tells us. Um, to start, my guess is it tells us that we are missing some sort of package. Uh, Google API Python client is not installed. Um, so here we can just do a poetry add Google API Python client in order to get that. And then we can uh, link chain serve again to get that hot reload going. Um, and then here we're going to 
configure our tool just like this. Um, as it says in the docs, and we'll call this Google tool. Um, and then instead of Tavili, we can have our Google tool in here and see uh, how that goes. Um, the one thing here is I will have to configure a Google API key. Um, and I have that, uh, if you have it in Google API key, it'll work out of the box. Um, but because, um, but I have, uh, my Google API key set to the one that I'm using for Gemini. And so I also have a Google search API key, um, which is a more general purpose, uh, Google API key, which gives me access to, um, these APIs. And of course we're going to have to import OS, um, and then I organized my imports there. And let's see if that works for us. So we can go back to our playground um, and we can ask the same, what are some events coming up? And we get an error that there's an invalid argument of the function name. So function names can only contain up to 63 alphanumeric characters, dashes, and underscores. Um, so let's rename our tool to match that. Uh, so we'll rename it to Google underscore search instead of um, the kind of full name. And we can go back to the playground, hit command enter to run it again. And it looks like some things are happening. So we have searched Google for events in SF. We got some results and um, it looks like the Google results are a little bit, a little bit different than the Tivili ones. Um, so in summary, uh, we essentially just replaced um, this section. So we can show this as a really tool through here uh, with a Google tool uh, up here. Um, and so as a result, we should just be able to comment that out um, or even actually delete it. And it should work just fine. Um, and you can, of course, customize the tool in other ways. You can give it a different description if you want to give the LLM a different way of um, using it. Um, and of course, you can give it multiple tools um, if you wanted to have a tool that searches Google as well as one that um, sends a message to Slack or something like that to give your agent a, a few more things that it can do. Um, so yeah, that was customizing a Gemini agent. Um, if you have any videos you want requested or anything like that, feel free to DM me on Twitter um, or comment on the video. Thanks.